Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm Emma and this is So Do It Emma. If you want to find out a bit more what I made in May, please hang on and I'll be right back with you. Thank you very much um, for joining me. A little bit of housekeeping. If you just um, subscribed to me recently, thank you. And if you keep coming back after week after week, thank you so much. Um, really means something lovely. <laughs> um, so hope you're all right today i'm going to be talking about my me makes and i'll just pop in pictures let me know if you want to sort of see like the makes obviously you won't get the full screen of them but if that helps like like give me a bit more detail on how the fabric moves just let me know but okay Without further ado, I'll pop in pictures as I talk and I've mentioned, I'll try and mention as much information about the patterns as possible. So, first off, we've got the Peppermint Maxi strap dress and I did this kind of um, for um, fruity f fruit salad. Um, so first off, we've got the Peppermint Maxi strap dress, and this is from Peppermint Magazine. It's a free pattern in collaboration with LB Textiles. Now, I love the aesthetics of LB Textiles, and I really want to try more of their patterns because it's a decent size range, especially the one of the trousers. There's, I think it's Freeman's trousers, but I've done the Peppermint Max, Maxi strap dress and I I think next time I do this, the model should be in a lovely red, deep red Maxi strap dress. So I got this from Blackbird Fabrics. Now it's a 100% linen. Um, it doesn't say the weight. But I think it's just, oh no, shut up Emma, it does say the weight. It's a 7 ounce linen, so this will be perfect. And it's got a beautiful colour on it. Um, again, I'm going to put this light on and help the colour. So it's got this lovely, I think it's coming true to the camera. Um, it's got this lovely colour and I've had this for a while. And I've got 2.5 metres, which is more than enough um, to make peppermint strap. Mm the peppermint max strap dress so i can't get i can't wait to try that out but i think this will be a later make um just because i've got quite a few things already on so because i did in me um first off it is drafted for a b cup and a height of five foot seven now i can't remember taking much off the height um i kept the length um and it seems to work for me and i love the slits it's kind of a wee bit sexy um unfortunately the weather since june has been a bit mixed and it's now july and it's still raining raining on and off and it's kind of hot and sticky as well but i don't know where this nice dry summer weather is but never mind we can talk about fabric and patterns and makes in the meanwhile so the body measurements are bus 51 and a half waist 47 and a half hips 54 and a half the finished garments go from 59 and a half 61 and a half 
and 71, 70 inches and a half. Right, so that was bust, waist and hips. Now, and that was the top size that I've given you. Now, there's quite a lot of ease um, between the body measurements and the finished garment measurements, which is really good. Um, so I think I went down a size from my actual body measurements. So it's, it's good that way. There is a significant of ease. Now for this version of the Peppermint Mag Maxi Strap dress, I can never say that right, I used a lovely pineapple um, fabric and this was a viscous rayon, I think, and it has some stretch in it, it's really weird, it's definitely got a bit of poly in it for the stretch. Um, I can't remember the exact exact fabric composition. That's the word um, that this fabric had because usually I have it moustache for a while and I do all about what I'm going to make for it. But I really enjoyed the make. Um, I did quite a few fringe seams on this as well, although. I can't remember if I had a few problems. So I think only the side seams got French seamed or the front and the back got French seamed because I think I had a problem with the pockets and French seams and my head just got pickled. But never mind. It turned out rather quite well before I forget the fabric, the pineapple fabric I got from Fabric Focus. And this dress was um, part of a little um, challenge set up by Blossom Sandwich, Juvette, um, back in May. And it was fruit salad sewing. Really enjoyed that. And behold, lo and behold, I got quite a few fabrics of fruit, fruits. So if you want to check out that video and or be reminded of how many fruits, fruity fabrics I have, I'll pop the card up here. So next up is the Coco Wawa apricot top, top and I was one of the testers for this and I think I did, uh, I went for the D cup. Now the apricot top is in two size brackets. One at 6 to 24 and one at 18 to 36. And I went for the 18 to 36, which is drafted for a D cup. But what I'll do is I'll mention the top size of the 6 to 24 range, which is drafted for a B cup. And the body measurements for that is 48 inches for the bust, 41 inches for the hips. 49 inches for the hips and the finished garments for that are bust 46, 53 and a half for the waist and 53 and a half for the hips. The 18 to 36 size range is a D cup and that starts, the, the size 36 is 60 bust, 54 waist and 63 hips finished garments measurements are bust 63 waist 66 and hips 66 and there's a decent amount of significant ease now you may find I found that the arm cycle at the end is quite deep but that is to allow the pinafore top to have ease when you move it because you'll have maybe something like this underneath it um and yes oh i've had an idea you'll just have to watch out for instagram for that <laughs> so um this tester was made in a lovely little 
blue cord and it suits it for that. I think this would be quite a nice transitioning pattern or a um, me made for going into autumn stroke winter because I can layer up. Um, not that I really layer up that much because I don't I am quite warm bodied but if I do get cold I get really quite cold um, and it's usually my feet. I really should start knitting socks because definitely my feet that get really hot or really really cold. It's weird. Moving on is the Bakerloo blouse or collab with the rag shop. Now I tested the Bakerloo um, dress um, back in January and this was my second um, try at the Bakerloo pattern. Really like this. I love the deep like colour. It's different. It really is different. And they're all the rave on the high street as well. So I received this fabric in return for a blog post and I've also did a vlog as well so you can check that out here as well. I'll just put another card on there. You can go and check it out. Giving you all the options. Um I just to put it out there that this competition and the vlog that I've put a card in is now over so there we go so back to the Bakerloo blouse collab with the rag shop received the fabric in return for a vlog vlog post I did both can I talk enough about it I just love it it's a lovely cotton really soft um it's a cotton poplin and it's eco text certified so yeah there's a wee bit more environmental pos positivity going on there so that's really handy to know in the credentials so the rag the nina lee london bakerloo blouse is drafted for a b cup and a d cup in the 16 to 20 size range the bust measurements are the body measurements are bust 54 waist 47 and hips 57 now for the finished garments measurements for the body for the blouse for the b cup it's a 57 and a half for the bust and the d cup 59 and a half for the d cup waist 58.2 and hips 60 inches now remember that is for the a uh, b cup and d cup finished garment measurements and that's just for the blouse because that that's this is what i did um but if you if you want to go and check out the Bakerloo then um I'll pop a link in below and that will take you to the PDF where you can look up all the measurements. But yeah, decent size range, really enjoyed making it. Lovely wearing because it's nice and soft. Yeah. And that's it May. May was quite I don't know what happened. I kind of, me made me went up there, but my mates kind of simmered down. Uh, yeah, so I'm not quite sure what happened there. Answers on the postcard. So what was your favourite out of those three? I made it quite easy. <laughs> um. I'll be popping up a June mix in another video, so um yeah, you're gonna have your choice. It's a lot of choice. For some bizarre reason, June was on fire with making stuff, and July is still going. We're, we're in July as I'm talking about me made, like me. Um. To, to, well, 
before I forget, I am wearing a lovely Adrian blouse and this lovely viscose jersey. Um, it's got faces on it. I think it's a Lady McElroy fabric. And the last few Adrian blouses, I've actually just done it on my sewing machine. No surgery. Fine. If I can do it on the sewing machine, you can do it too. If you don't have a serger overlocker. So, thumbs up on that one. Um, currently, the Adrian blouse only goes up to a size 4X. But Friday are going through the catalogue and updating all the patterns. Okay, I'll leave you on that note. I hope you're all safe, happy sewing, and take care of yourself. And before I go, before I go, if you haven't already, please do subscribe. Give me a little thumbs up, and I'll see you very, 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 very soon with another vlog. Take care. Bye.